Welcome today to the Fire Brand Daily Devotional. I am Pastor Mrs. Alice Halidu, your host. And by the grace of God, the Fire Brand Daily Devotional is a daily devotional from the office of our senior pastor, Dr. Halidu Abraham, the senior pastor of the Revival House Church, with headquarters in Lokoja, Kogi State, Nigeria. God bless you in Jesus' name. Today is Saturday, April 2nd, 2022, and the topic for our consideration this morning is freedom from the hurts and negative feelings. Freedom from hurts and negative feelings. We will be taking our scripture reading from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Our senior pastor says, as a medical doctor, I have managed different types of wounds. Some wounds are minor or bruises, and some are major and some are deep wounds. And most of the unpleasant things that happen to us are like bruises or minor injuries to our minds. But at some time, most of us experience a deep wound or serious injuries to our minds. Like minor injuries to our bodies that hurt for a short while, most of our daily annoyances may temporarily make us discouraged, but are usually forgotten very, very quickly. When we suffer a serious physical injury, we go immediately to a doctor we can talk, who can properly treat it. We have the wounds cleansed and properly bandaged so that it's protected. And sometimes we need to have it checked and regularly to make sure it's healing properly. Even then, it may take some time to heal. This is an illustration of how our spiritual wounds can heal with faith, prayer, and proper care. But if we don't allow them to be cleansed and healed in the proper way, if we try to hide our wounds, or don't even cooperate with those who can and want to help us, how can our wounds heal if we try to stop people or stop the help we desire to get? Our wounds can become infected with bitterness, sometimes with resentment that can spread and poison the whole body. If left unattended to, they can affect our spiritual life, our happiness, our faith, and our general well being. Bitterness doesn't develop immediately, it grows over time, like an infection in a wound. Bitterness is like an infected wound that silently keeps destroying the healthy areas that it needs. It keeps eating into it deeply, silently and quietly. Therefore, just as we should immediately pay careful attention to our serious physical injuries, we should immediately take care of serious spiritual wounds. The Bible teaches that we should watch out that no bitterness takes root amongst us. For as it is, it is, it springs up and it causes deep trouble hurting many in their spiritual lives. When you sweep something under the carpet, what you hide today can end up hiding you in the grave. The Bible, I encourage us to seek help from those who are mature, more mature in faith than us. When it comes to getting rid of bitterness and leaving behind the negative things that are in our past, it greatly helps to get help from someone who is stronger than you in faith and to also get help from somebody who is strong that can help you to going through with the word of God. What is our meditation point today? God wants you, God wants you to have joy and he wants your joy to be full according to John chapter 5 or 15 verse 11. And he knows that the secret of that joy lies in forgiving those who have wronged you. Letting go of bitterness and resentment and forgetting the past. I want us to look at this prayer point this morning. We are going to pray and ask God to help us forgive all those who have deeply injured us psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually. Can we pray? Lift up your voice and pray this way. Say, Oh God, I pray this morning. I ask that you will help me to forgive all those who have injured me physically, psychologically, spiritually, and emotionally. Father, I receive healing and I forgive them with all my heart. Help me, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
I want you to join us for further reading. Let's look at we'll be looking at on your own Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 4, and also Jeremiah chapter 14, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 7. As you pick up this uh, go through these scriptures, I believe that you will find healing for your spirit, healing for your soul, and healing for your body. We'll meet tomorrow again. The Lord bless you and keep you coming in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.